Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're doing something really, really popular with travel vlogs and just editing films in general and that is a mask transition. So I'm gonna quickly show you what we're gonna achieve today in the tutorial. I did this in my a little video I uploaded on my channel called Winter Dreams, just a test of the A7 III. So we're just gonna play that through now. And as you can see here, the tree cuts in front of the scene and transitions into a separate shot. So we're gonna do that in DaVinci Resolve right now. So what we need to do is we need to get our two clips. Now the important thing is, is that one of these clips needs to have an object like this tree cutting right in front of the frame like so. It doesn't have to be a tree, it can be anything you want, but the important thing is, is that it covers top to bottom and goes from one side to the other. Now in here, it doesn't quite go, but we can sort of fake that anyway, so that's fine. So. Once you've got your bit of footage like that, we're gonna drag that onto the timeline. We're gonna put it on the second video track and then we need to get the bit of footage that we wanna use underneath, basically what we wanna to transition to. So we're gonna grab this bit of footage here of a friend of mine just dusting snow out of her hands. And I'm gonna drag that and we're gonna drag that under. Now the important thing is, is that clip needs to start the moment you can see the other side of that tree. So that's where we need this footage to start. And there we go. Now, obviously, now we need to mask that out. To do that, we actually need to go into the color tab. So we're gonna do that. And in the color tab, we have our windows here, which is what we can use for masking. So that's under this option here. So what we need to do is with this layer clip selected, we're gonna go just to the middle, just so that we can see what we're doing. And we're gonna mask this out. So I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm going to click. And we're just gonna create a really rough, sort of mask there, up and over. And as you can see, nothing happens, right? Because at the moment, even if I invert this, it doesn't matter, right? Because this mask is just covering this piece of footage and it doesn't know that there is another bit of footage underneath. To do that, we need to add an alpha channel to the output here. Now the alpha channel is this blue line here. Alpha is pretty much like the opacity. So if something is, as you can see here in this box, maybe that gray bit, that would be completely invisible. And so if we had an out alpha output, we could see what was beneath it, which is this clip here. That sounds a little long-winded. The easiest way to do that is to right click, add alpha output. This will add that there. And all we need to do is drag the blue to the blue and straight away you can see the effect that that has on the footage. From there, we really just need to sort of refine this mask and keyframe it the whole length across. But before we start, we're gonna increase the softness just so that it's not such a hard cut. I find that sort of like 4.5, you don't wanna go too high because if you go too high, it sort of blurs the lines here. It doesn't look that good. So we're gonna go, I think probably like a four, four, maybe 3.5 for this one. And with that selected like so, we're just gonna make sure that that mask is covering exactly what we want it to, which is good. And we are going to set keyframes here and here. And what I like to do is start in the middle, go to the end, and we're just going to drag this mask across. And again, we're going to refine it with the points just to make sure we are covering exactly exactly what we want to, and we'll just fast forward through this. All right, so now we've gone through an animated frame by frame. You can see if we click on here and we go play, you can see we have our mask transition there, and it looks pretty good. Now, now how good it looks is totally dependent on you and how long you really wanna spend masking it out and rotoscoping it through. I did this really quick just for the sake of this tutorial, but if I wanted a really, really, really good job, I probably would've gone more frame by frame just to get a more accurate representation. But as you can see here, if we do play this through, it is nice and quick. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. Nice, quick and easy on how to do a masking transition. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. Till the next video guys, see ya.